Hello and welcome back to the second part where you join me while I'm trying to complete this oil refinery area. You can see me laying the tracks and as I said this station is going to have four platforms and four tracks going through. Not too sure if the four tracks are going to get used but I think it's better to, to start back otherwise if you need an extra track you're gonna end up uh, destroying everything just to just to add that that small uh, small track now I went for for a back road because this is gonna be quite important and you'll see at the end I'm, I'm quite happy uh, that I choose a back road because there's gonna be a lot of traffic when I've done this um, my idea was that everything's going to be connected in between but it's not the docks from one side are not connected uh, with the docks on the other side so therefore I had to put a a truck truck route so we can uh, so we can shift the crude oil over to this side uh, and then the the refined oil on the other side Again, adding adding the small roads, so it it make it makes it look a lot better, in my opinion, rather than having no roads. The only problem is placing these industries. It's it's like a big big puzzle. Uh, and why I'm saying that is because you have to be careful which one you place first otherwise uh, you'll see me deleting and placing again just because um, the roads of the industries it would be a lot easier if the roads weren't there So as I said before, we're going to have uh, 8 oil refineries in total in this area. 5 of them are going to be used for producing a refined oil so we can ship it to the fuel refinery and 3 of them are going to be used for the plastic factory which are going to go onto the ships and to their, to their destination. The train is only going to be used for the fuel, so we can we can ship the fuel from this station into the main hub, and and from there to to every city that requires it. The reason why are there four passing trucks is because I'm thinking to bring the the forest the logs through there, just just as a passing place. So everything's more um, linked up, you know. So all the trucks are pretty much in the same place, not all over the place. As at at the end of the day, this is what I'm trying to achieve: a really tidy place and very functional. Now, a lot of the truck stations that I've placed uh, so far will need to be upgraded. For example, the ones and in the oil well area might need to be upgraded because having having three industries connected to a, a station that only accepts uh, 60 for example 60 oil it's not going to do it because we're going to lose a lot of uh, a lot of crude oil now for the time being that that's fine because i've only connected up one town just so we can get some some extra profit um, but when you have all nine cities connected that's going to be an issue so making sure that every route is as optimal as possible is quite important in, in this specific project
Now I've, I've only extended the tracks up to there because I wasn't sure yet where uh, everything's going. I've tried to add a couple of depots just to make to make it look a bit busier, and obviously to have a place uh, from from where we can deploy our trains. Finally, we get to the fuel refinery area, where I've tried as much as possible to maintain the, the terrain as it was, so it looks more natural. And not only here, I've tried to do that everywhere, uh, everywhere possible. Because I think as, as soon as you touch it with the terrain brush, it looks, it looks a lot more uh, man-made, so I, I kind of like the actual layout from, from the game. And here we're only gonna need five fuel refineries, so the space should be should be plenty. I said at the beginning that I'm gonna try to save as many farms as possible. Unfortunately, this one next to the to the docks uh, had to be sacrificed because I don't think it's the proper place for a farm next to a. Uh, or refinery or a fuel refinery so I ended up getting rid of it
the road's been left like that because I'm not too sure where it's heading. And finally, adding a couple of trees just to make it look like it's a barrier against the, the, the city. Some, some final touches with the brush and the, the fuel refinery area should be ready to rock and roll. In terms of laying the tracks, I think it was quite a difficult difficult one because I had to take in consideration the future lines that are gonna uh, that are gonna come through here and trying to find the best the best possible route as well as make it make it look natural and making sure that the the trucks are far away from um, every town so it doesn't it doesn't affect them in in any way I ended up placing three stations with six, with six platforms each. So that's 18 platforms 
uh, for now there's there's still room for for expanding if we need it again I, I've, I've not done this before uh, placing several uh, stations against them so I wasn't too sure how this is gonna work but in the end it worked out pretty well you can see I was trying to add more more tracks but that didn't work so I've added those small connections for each uh, each station and it seems to do the trick so in total this is gonna act as a 18 platform station because they're all connected and as long as you connect it with um, with the truck station it's all good which uh, I wasn't sure why at the end of the video the the fuel refinery wasn't producing anything and that's because when I placed the the truck station next to the to the main hub it wasn't connected and I, I wasn't paying attention but it's all it's all sorted now Now that a part of the, the main hub is completed, 
it's time to set up our first train line. I went random here, uh, but I, I, you know, I, I like the outcome of this train. You will see at the end of this video um, a ride on the train going from one station to, to the other. And we're adding the, the truck station so we can deliver fuel into this town. I've added a couple of trucks into the existing uh, route just so we can get some fuel going. I've not placed all the vehicles yet. And then um, making our first ship route. It took a bit of time to be honest. I thought it was going to crash the game. But I'll have to modify that because uh, I think there's too many landing docks. put a, a bunch of ships in there just to get uh, get going same on the other side and I wasn't too sure why the fuel wasn't starting being produced and as I said the truck station at the main hub was not connected with the train stations After a lot of background optimization, we finally uh, reach the station where we're gonna pack hopefully a fuel load of uh, of fuel, and then we're gonna head towards the main hub. Now, this line is set to wait uh, for a fuel load, just so we don't waste a lot of money. You can already see I'm down to uh, 3 billion and I had 6 when I started this, uh, this map. So hopefully what we, what we earn from this little setup, it's not, it's not really little, but uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fuel our next, uh, next project. We should be ready to depart any time now. As soon as the ship arrives and drops off the fuel, uh, we are we are ready to to go. And here we are. We're loading up the the rest of the fuel. Let's see if I can get a decent camera angle. That looks pretty good. I'm I'm very pleased how this turned up. Uh, so far, let's see. I'm gonna take the driver eyes view. Something like that. And we see we we're, we're currently full. Uh, we we're getting 450 fuel. Uh, a lot is going to get wasted in the, in the truck station over to the main hub 
but that doesn't matter because we're making a profit and that's what counts as far as uh, what the next episode is going to bring I'm not too sure it might be that we're going to continue what uh, the, the oil refined oil to be shipped to uh, the plastic factory and then we can continue that chain uh, or or something else depends uh, how much money I make in between now and then and how much money is this line gonna gonna provide us with we have our uh, our airport I think it's only there's only two airports and in the entire map as I said I've not been focusing on passengers um, just just the basic connections and that's about it and then we should have another one I really love those bridges how they they turn up um, there will be a lot of smoothing required and adding a bit more trees where where needed but apart from that I think it's looking pretty decent I'm gonna have a look uh, through, through the trains on, on Steam Workshop and what I've got already installed I'm only gonna use train that I will like um, as I said, I'm not a professional when it comes to trains, but if I see a, a model that I like, I'll I'll use it. Um, I really like how this uh, steepness, how smooth this uh, this going up the hill is, and then you you get some some views above the forest as well. Um, love it I love it so far it's not my usual thing uh, and look at that that's that's a perfect shot the the plane landing there perfect perfect and because the, the map is so congested and there's a lot going on I think it makes you feel uh, that you want to do more stuff and get it all tidy we're approaching one of the towns most of, most of them have Asian uh, Asian names so I've not really bothered to even try to pronounce them or remember them uh, for that matter I think this this section or most of the section on, on this map where we're gonna have multiple lines running through is gonna get very busy soon we're, we're approaching the main hub or the freight hub we've got another city on the left and around here is very very basic it's just the actual uh, stations and that's about it but it will get it will get more developed as we we progress every every industry you place uh, he adds another an, another couple more lines into into the station it's a massive station
Osaka or Osaka. Not too sure. Alright, let's jump off and see how much. Uh, so this station can only take 200. 200 is getting lost, but it doesn't matter. Let's see. This train's made 12 million already. Which is not, not bad at all. And this is picking up the fuel and is going into the city. Oh good. I'm looking forward to see the comments and what everyone has to say regarding this project. But until then, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel so my unlimited possibilities can continue. Thank you for watching.